Okay. Nice. I'll let him... Wow! This is good. I, I'm liking this. This guy is for real. I forgot. Javelins now all penetrate. I might have to actually use a heal pot. Damn. Um. Yep. I like it. I like it. I like it. This is good. Yeah, because this is a change from the throwing stuff. Hmm. Well. Yeah, because this is like fight. What you're fighting here is you're fighting a stone giant. Uh, and this guy has silver jab, so they, they hit especially hard. Now, the problem is I don't really have a great setup to kill him. I'm not going to be able to heal very quickly. All I have are two heal pots. So, that kind of sucks. I don't. I just don't have a lot of options for like quick dispersal of this guy. Shoals is going to be very... Nah, the only monster with that has those are um, uh, Javelin Ears. And they're not really going to be any scarier. I, I think it's really only this guy because I was like, oh yeah, I'll throw Brothers and Arms up in his face. But honestly, he kind of spooked me a bit. I sort of set up this situation. This vault is a little bit scarier because I can't really do the around the corner thing, unfortunately. It's one of the worst ones I could have gotten as far as for the Minotaur Vault itself. I'm all out of uh, attack charges of any kind, you know, so I can Karari him, but I could die on the next hit. He, he hits hard with these Javelins. They are very painful. Now I can go into Bat and fly away after I say Blink. Um, but the real issue is like, what do you even do afterwards? Now he does have a bunch of damage. Um, I can't really do a lot with uh, brothers in arms though because I've already I, I've already lost a lot of piety. But you know this is sort of experimental. I'm doing things riskier and a little bit looser than I might normally. Like the rest of this gauntlet was really fine. It's certainly some scary rooms, but the plans that I had for them were all fine. This guy though, I sort of realized as I got in here, I don't have a great plan for him. I was like, oh yeah, Karare, but you know, you gotta hit him. And he, all it takes is for him, like two hits for him to to take down quite a lot of HP. And even then, he's just slowed. It's not like he's like dead or whatever. Um, so what I really want is to Karare him so I could possibly... Let me check something out really quick. Yeah, 3%. So it's really crap. Doesn't even show a chance for Karare. You know, he's only down to like, you know, what, two, uh, two thirds or whatever. So I have to get a Karare on him and get some damage without taking a lot of damage. But he probably has plenty of javelins left. And I can't exactly make more. I don't, I might have a Skull of Summoning in here. So my only clearly very safe move, unfortunately, is to go ahead and burn my blink. So I don't really have a choice about that. I don't want to try blinking past him or any dumb crap like that. But then I have to have a way to kill him. And that ain't easy, folks. I don't know what these three scrolls are. I wish I had a scroll of summoning. That would... Well, with... Pa with penetrating javelins it would still be an issue but it would be a lot safer No, it's not mostly just silver jabs. It's it's regular jabs too. Silver's just hurt more. Really, think about it like you're fighting a stone giant. It's kind of like that. 
If these guys have an HD boost. They have like, or they have, uh, they have high, they have pretty good HD. They have, I think, the fighting flag. They hit pretty hard. Javelins definitely make it worse, but regular ones can hurt quite a lot too. Yeah, it, well, the issue is that Karare is going to hit, but it's just going to slow him, and he's still going to be hitting me with javelins. Well, I don't really like the plans that we have. I I have to do real shenanigans that are all somewhat risky, unfortunately. really do wish I had a haste spot, too. Like, I don't even want to go to bat form. I'm just going to lose HP. Um, you know, it's true. It would have opened up and slowed him right away. Um, I still would have taken a javelin to the face, of course. I was hoping to get a first hit on the guy because he didn't notice me. And then I peeked back around. And, of course, there he did. And uh, each hit, even in plate, you know, I don't have any other enchantment. I even have a shield, but I don't have all that much SH, really. I mean, 11's actually pretty good, but, you know. All right. Well, I think, uh, you know, the escape is the easy part. It's finishing him off. It's going to be a real pain. Getting him around a corner would be great. got extra regen we kind of need to just buy some time and then a then a berserk yeah a berserk would be actually really smart because he's not going to do too much he is wearing plate after all but we could lig berserk for instance that would be fine that's probably what we'll do i mean i can try cry i'm not even going to mess with it. i'm just going to go in with the berserk once i get hp back up it's going to have to be our plan One heal wounds for sure. Hmm. Well, that was not the best plan. But we got him. Yeah, that was fine. Honestly, corner berserk. <laughs> It's like, part of the reason why I wanted to scope him out was because uh, um, I wanted to see if he had anything weird, but it's like, the odds of him having anything truly horrifying are fairly slim. If he has an elect thing, though, it is scary. Yep, Berserk really is a solution to almost every problem. Would have been a. Uh, I had gone back here. I mean, I did get most of my HP. Went here and rested. That's the problem. Is yeah. So something like this. Something like that would have been a lot better. I backed up and he was like, "Oh, I'm here though." So this is where I actually wanted to be. It would have gotten me fewer turns to rest, but not really. <laughs> Like two movement squares. This is actually where I should have gone. So that was another mistake. Because then I could have um, backed off, like set up. Well, you can't really set up Lig, but I could have timed the Berserk so that he would have moved into me. Counting turns and such. Oh well. It worked. Thankfully, he didn't really javelin me super bad on that one turn. But even if he had with Berserk, it was probably going to be fine. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put this on. 
Eh, not very good, but could be worse. Don't really need a staff of wizardry. Don't plan on... Okay. Thank you for dropping literally every item. I know, it's an insult. So sadly, due to my own mistake, I did actually end up having to use the blink scroll, and I even had to use one of my heal wounds, but it worked out fine. Put faith in my pretty good weapon. Oh. Okay, so it turned out there was a damn Hydra in the corner. That kind of sucks. Not so much a fan of that. A oh, cool guy, please. Don't backseat. <laughs> it'll, it'll get handled. Don't worry about it. I, too, can read the prompts. Don't worry. It's all good. A bread ration, exactly. Slow. <laughs> Mickey likes to clap. Oh man. Boy, oh well, this is fun. Oh yeah, so this is right, all the yaks. Yep, I, inv I wrote the clap command because I felt like it was missing. Uh, it was uh, a missing a niche. Began is clap all. All right. There we go. Of course, if you don't give it any prompt, it gives you a ti a timely message. About what should be done with Felids. So yeah, that gauntlet was definitely the worst gauntlet I've done in all the times that I've done them. Because I definitely came closest to actually dying. More so than any other one. Mostly because the Minotaur spooked me with those javelins. But truthfully, like they can hit you with them anyway. I think I think I sort of realized that I didn't have a great plan, and yeah, it turned out that with the throwing changes, it's an even worse than usual plan because you're not likely to, you're not going to block anything. You know, Brothers in Arms as a blocker is not a terrible play. It really helps if you can summon multiple, of course. Although them fighting one on one, one at a time is always bad. So if you get a slightly less good vault like that, it can you can have a kind of a bad time. Uh, yeah, they're common, but you're you won't you know I don't know I feel like you'll get them every third game or something, maybe it maybe uh, it might be higher than that. Guess I'm going up. Oh, that you were scared of and normal. Yeah, if you're already pretty good at threat assessment, you can get a pretty good handle on what is dangerous and what is not. Uh, the Minotaur can kind of throw you off a bit, potentially. They they are they're pretty variable. The Minotaurs like. Oh, 
Wow, 17 jabs. 17 silver. That Minotaur, he was decked out. <laughs> I suppose that's true, yeah. Honestly, don't... Well, I can try this. It's not that typical strategy employed by a Berserker fighting a Hydra. Blinking and uh, throwing, throwing javelins, but it did work. Oh yeah, we got our skulls here. They they do indeed have zero AC. Uh, so a wand of scatter shot, which boomerangs of dispersal, nice. Which I really should go buy one of these wands. Yeah, scatter shots will like one shot them nearly every time, even with only a little. Evo, provided that they're reasonably close range. Do I have anything? Oh, this, right, Ring of Dex. Do I have any reason to go in this vault now, though? Chainmail and Curing. Yeah, they die so it's super easy. Oh, I'm gonna go down bad stairs, I have a feeling. Well, let's find out. Oh, that wasn't too bad, actually. Well, hello, Barb. Sea Snake, that's one of the uh, Shoals monsters that this vault places as is Manticore. Whoa, there's the Avatar. Uh, <laughs> oh no, Mr. Avatar, why would you do it? Um, whew. That's a little bit spooky. Because he will head over into water and there's a Manticore there. Those stairs are pretty awful. We would like to avoid those. These, uh, this, these stairs only have beautiful butterflies. Uh-oh. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. Rest... Oh my god, what was that? Come on. Why did I do that? course um well that was really dumb the hell <laughs> that's me right now <laughs> i'm the eggplant guy that was just like the worst series of plays jeez like i was like yeah i'll berserk and i'll rest like what why why did, why would you do that Basically, what I'm saying is I'm on autopilot right now. So, I could teleport because this many death yaks is kind of dangerous and I can't really BIA. And, um... Well, there's only two of them, but at the same time... There's also an elephant and I am slow. Don't really like a teleport because you don't know where you'll end up. Like only one half of the map is explored and ending up in the vault would be very bad and I'm slowed. I don't really want to waste a might potion. I could certainly try some Karare on Mr. Elephant, but it's not really gonna solve the Death Yak problem. They're gonna hit a little bit too hard to just like be slow. So this is the problem of my own creation. And, uh... Now, there is always bat form. Although I'm slow, I'm still going to be faster. It's not the worst idea. 
Oh no, yeah, but I don't want to spend for turns. I keep forgetting how that takes. Ooh, Hornet. Ah, see, this is what we were worried about. We didn't want this teleport to happen. This is, is exactly what can happen. But you know what? It's okay, because I'm playing this experimental like uh, a bat out of hell, if it, if you will. So, if I do risky and stupid stuff and die, I'm all good. I just sort of want to see what the changes are like. So, the I like the Minotaur thing. It was sort of a surprising interaction. Or I like that suddenly the Minotaur was challenging in a way I didn't know. Whether or not the Minotaur needed a buff is another question. Yeah, Ninja the Loot, right? Sadly, I have no Fear Scrolls identified, and I'm still slowed. Alright, so we gotta do this. Yeah, and these things hit hard, so I don't really want to be standing next to a Komodo Dragon. Which means I have to, like, start blinking around. Oh my god. Oh, sick! What a good teleport! Holy crap! Jeez. Amazing teleport. I mean, that entire sequence was completely planned, you understand. I, I knew exactly what I was doing. hundred percent optimal play in this stream even one turn is less than perfect so note to note that in trunk um, if you fight the Minotaur um, it has penetration javelins every time Hornet. Just gonna berserk my way through this problem. Oh no, I saw that. Why did I, why did I go? Oh God. And look, ugh. Okay, we might got out of this one. The heck. Me in this level. I have a death wish on this level. I don't know what it is. Keep, I'm like, oh yeah. Just, just let him. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to drop on you, my friend. No, don't, Mr. Hornet, no. I thought we were friends. It's the death yak. Death, two death yaks I can take, but as you can see, well, as you can also see, I'm tabbing my way to... Okay, despite my best efforts to kill myself, I am still alive. I'm working on it, though. Don't count me out yet, coach. I can still I can still kill myself. On a Trog character. Who will win? Me or the Manticore? So this uh, layer ending has an avatar who we haven't killed yet and a bunch of bunch of sort of like thematically appropriate layer monsters and some crossovers from Shoals. Hence the sea snakes. Manticores kind of do show up in lo a lot in Lair, but they are also one of the crossover species. And geez, what other things you might run into the odd harpy, wind drake. There you go. There's one. Oh yeah, that's right. He deflects it. See, I can't berserk this guy because uh, he's gonna blow me back. But.
Okay. I have more armor than fighting skill right now. No, I swear I know how to play Crawl. I really do. <laughs> Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know, I know, I know how to play that. I think I played that in the arcades, yeah. I got a high score. What do we got? Where's my acquirement scroll? No, not my scroll of torment. Although, if I'm alive, do I have... Oh, I don't have torment protection. Well, there's plenty of people like that out there. It's not really too hard to get a win. Oh, big, very big potion of experience. Um, wow, not exactly, uh, a whole lot of uh, skill increases that we got going here. All right, well, let's get to the 14. Sure, it doesn't really matter, does it? You know what? That would probably be more valuable. Some Evo. Sure. Comrade Gary, thank you for the 100 bits. Yeah, I mean, some people don't really play like they, you know, they're not too concerned about whether they win. They just want to kind of have the experience of it. And there's people like me who try to go for, well, I have to get back to the streak. Got to get the 30 plus streak next. <gasps> oh no, elephant. Wow. Savitar is like, I am coming for you. I'm not just going to stay at my house. I'm going to come directly for you. Oh, my f my friend, you're not going to make it. Javelin's too good. Nice. So the avatar can't, like, lure me back into his little home base now. There's probably not too much left. Orb of Zot plays for the shiny things. I guess that makes sense. If you are literally, if you are the physical incarnation of the Orb of Zot... Yeah, I like playing sort of to win. That's why you see me stop and kind of plan out my turns and like talk to myself and be like, and this is what you should do. And therefore you should, in fact, berserk the blinking monster. It's counterintuitive, but that's what you should do. How dare you play to win? What do you think this is some kind of game? Kosu, one hundred percent feasible. Oh, you're talking about Kosu from the stream. Yeah, Kosu was really easy, because uh, summoners. Kosu is a really, really weak species. Or Cobalt, not Kosu. Ko, <laughs> aka Cobalt, is a really, really weak species, but summoner of almost anything is really easy. Ah, I see. So I'm kind of approaching this vault 
in various ways. I the monsters don't patrol, but the avatar does. It might be completely empty. Empty. Uh, it's got sort of two entrances: the main entrance and one of the walls. This one actually is collapsed. Oh, that one has. Oh, that's interesting. Got a main entrance and. Whoa. Did I make it independent chances for multiple walls to be collapsed? I don't remember that at all. Huh. I thought it was only ever one. Yeah, you can see I made it so that the walls like collapse in, so each one of these tiles is like part of the wall, so it'll be it'll be like, you know, one tile might be over here, over here like that. Surprisingly annoying to implement that as a substitution in a death syntax. The way I did it is very, it uses a ton of glyphs in the definition. Yeah, it's not just, it was sort of like to make there be multiple approaches into this vault. I mean, the vault, this is just the layout, the bird's eye view of an ancient Greek temple, which they were very simple if you look at them like from the top down. They just were, you know, these are like the columns, if you will. They're all two by two, but they're all just ruined in various degrees. The, the, these are, these three are totally intact. And then here's the main chamber and like the back area. But I made it specifically so that there's a main entrance and it's flooded of course, but there's a main entrance and then apparently one or one to three, maybe I made it one to two of the walls like had collapsed over. So I wanted the walls to be there both to help break up Los and then you have the areas where you can stand because the problem is it's flooded so standing anywhere inside of the water is really bad so you it's hard you have to make areas where the player might like to stand within reason. Yeah, it looks like this vault is totally empty now. Shiny helmet, yeah. Okay. Staff of fire, robe. <laughs> 